What up, Gatsby? Just chilling? Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. Today we are going to be making the ultimate ramen. I'm gonna try my best to make like the best ramen ever. So let's get the vlog started. Cherry blossoms. Gatsby's doing his morning pee, and then he's gonna get a visit from his friend Tembi. Hey, Tembi! <laughs> Gatsby's like dead. Gatsby's <laughs> just like whatever. <laughs> Look what Tembi gave Gatsby: a giant bone piece. You licking your lips? Mmm. Good morning, aquarium. Gatsby decided to sit right in front. I set up the camera and he's like, oh, hey, I'm here. I want to be in the shot too. So this is what the aquarium looks like today. I got three new coral pieces. And as you can see, the elegance coral decided to open up again. So I think what happened was it's a new mouth that just formed. The largest new piece of coral that I got was the Galaxia over here, which is a coral that I've always wanted. It reminds me of something like from the movie Alien, where the alien is just like freaking out with the spawn. Look how long that super tentacle is. You cannot have any coral near this, but it looks crazy at night. Other than that, as you can see over here, I got a new Fabia piece, and this will start encrusting, which looks really cool. I moved my Rasta zoanthids, so it'll start encrusting these Rasta colors all the way around. Yellow, orange, and green. One problematic piece that I have is the Rainbow Monty. I used to have it placed all the way at the top of the tank because I thought it liked high light and high flow. But unfortunately, as you can see over here, it totally bleached out. So I moved it to a lower spot. Speaking of Montipora, we have our Monty cap here, which I noticed it's growing a lot. There's a lot of polyp extension. As for other corals in the tank, I got a Blasto coral right over here. It barely grows, but it just adds so much color to the tank. So this is what the aquarium looks like now. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm gonna hit some legs, rock in the strong lift wear leggings, and gym shark tank. See you guys there. Because you'll never be Jordan, you couldn't even be Pippin, you couldn't even be tripping, you can't afford a vacation amount in Haiti with Asians. I go to Asia with Asians, you mad dusty. You a little dusty possum. I just come through with a sick like my name was Blossom. <laughs> Time for my protein shake. I am an ectomorph, which means I have a really hard time gaining weight. My current weight right now, I lost some weight. I just weighed myself. I am 160 pounds again. Time for the protein shake dance. All ready to drink. Wow, oh, Gatsby, you're making fast work of this bone. Look at this. He already like went through like the whole thing. Wow, <laughs> you've been chewing on this all day long, huh? Yeah, are you proud? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so happy. Smile. I'm gonna head off right now to the Asian market to get all the missing ingredients for the ultimate ramen recipe now. You don't want to with the Harajuku Barbie. Keep a marquee, everything sparkly. Hit him on a walkie talkie. Hey, okay, headed over to the Asian market. Strawberries for $16. They have pea vines. Better grab them. Look at these carrots, they're so large. It's like all stuff you can stick inside of your ramen or your belly. Some of these mushrooms. This is the whole ramen selection that they have here. Oh, so much. These are all their instant ramens. Check it out. Dumpling. Shabu shabu beef, Canadian bacon. Now let's get some arabiki sausage too. And corn. Some green onions. Does this look like enough for one ramen? They have Pokemon candy. More Pokemon candy. All this stuff. There we go. Got recognized by the cashier. This is gonna be so many ingredients for a ramen. Before we make it, I think I'm gonna have to take the dog out because it's such a nice day outside. We gotta do something. Do you wanna go for a little walk in the redwoods? Okay, let's go. Hey yo, Robin, I get more head than when they nod in. Corgi on fleek, it's poppin' on Mary Poppins. I look at the trees. Oh, redwoods. This is like Wizard of Oz.
We're like Taylor Swift. We just made it out of the woods. Are we in the clear yet? In the clear yet? Good? Okay, well that was a nice short little walk. Ooh. Yes, he's all tuckered out. The time has come to do the ultimate ramen cooking video. Woo! Here's all of the ingredients we have. So first, we're gonna be using this ramen, soy sauce flavor, baby bok choy, which we're gonna stir fry, bean sprouts, corn, bamboo shoots, green onions, dry roasted seaweed, fish cake, we have pepper. I'll do a soft boiled egg, katsu, which is also like a dried fish flake, gyoza, which is like the dumplings. This is like a fungus kind of mushroom. As for the meats, we have char shu, which is like a pork belly, Canadian bacon, we have arabiki sausage, the shabu shabu style beef, which is like the thinly sliced one. That's like seven ingredients with the ramen. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is cook the vegetables. That's yes, favorite thing. Water's boiling for four minutes. And these and some bean sprouts. Okay. Next let's cut the fish cake and the green onions. Let's check to see what's inside of this pack. Okay, noodles. And the soup base. This water's boiling so we can add the egg. So the egg goes inside for six and a half minutes. In order to make a soft boiled egg, it requires an ice bath afterwards. So let's make that really fast. So we got the ice bath already. Water's finally boiling. Six and a half minutes. Take the egg out. Add it to the ice bath for three minutes. Add two slices of beef. As you see, the beef cooks pretty much instantly. Stick it with all the other toppings that we have. The egg is done. I believe the noodles are done too. Beautiful noodles. Peel the egg. There we go. And the hot water from the kettle. Let's just add a little bit because you can always add more later. Let's slice up all these meats really fast. Slice of Canadian bacon. Add our pork belly. Add it right here. Let's add our fried gyoza dumpling. And the bamboo shoots. Before we go any further, let's crack this egg. See what it looks like. Oh, perfect. I decided to boil the sausage. It's already cooked, but I decided to boil it anyway. Let's add that. This is getting to be so ridiculous. Katsu, dried seaweed, green onions, Finally, to top it off, the shichimi ramen pepper. Woo! Okay, now it's time to eat. Mmm, it's really good. Best ramen I've ever had. Oh, I'm so full. So we decided we're going to nine bot a little bit. I hope it's not flat. It's pretty flat, I remember. Well, hopefully it'll be okay. Thanks, Sean, for filming. Favorite bone in the world. In honor of Pokemon's 20th anniversary, I would play Super Mario Maker and unlock the Pokemon in there. I do have some Super Mario Maker levels in the links in the description below. You can watch those videos. Let's get started. Super Mario Maker! Woo! There it is. Oh, it's shaped like Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Oh, you have to choose the Pokemon. Charmander, go! Woo! Woo! I got Charmander. Wait, oh, I have to do it again? Woo! Yes! I unlocked Squirtle. Woo! 
you gonna congratulate me for catching on the Pokemons? If you guys didn't know, check out my Amiibo collection over here too. Woo! I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, make sure to click the like button. And please enjoy some incredible footage of my aquarium at night. Check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! It's so easy. Smack the girls' faces. I'd rather get the giant monkey than the <laughs> You can get a pinata stick. Five dollars for a stick? It's a decorated stick. <laughs> this is a little dangerous to hit. Is this Microsoft Windows? <laughs> this is so creepy. 